Okay guys, something's happening today. One second. Today's the day, folks. Today, we're getting honey. As you guys know, my roommate Anna has hives, beehives to be exact, and we're harvesting. Can't you see I'm very excited and not scared by the smile on my face? I am very nervous as I have never extracted honey from a beehive before. As I told you guys in the last vlog, I am moving rooms. I am moving literally right next door. So I decided in the meantime, before we started to harvest honey, to go ahead and start moving all my stuff. My previous roommate decided to leave this coat hanger thing. So I decided to stack all my clothes up on there. And then I realized I had to take these dumbass lights off my room. And when I started to do that, oh my God, did I encounter counter a problem. Yeah, I was like, oh fuck. And then I tried my hardest to try to squeegee it off, but nothing was going on. So I said, you know what? Now I have to focus on the bees. Let's just forget about this. All right, so we're suited up, ready to go. That's me, hi. So this is how extracting honey from a hive usually goes. Usually you use a closable frame holder to put all the frames in, but we're using trash bags. I am nervous usually taking honey from beehives is pretty aggressive and it's a very aggressive process the only time i've helped anna with the hives was when she was just checking on them and not actually taking anything from them essentially you are stealing from them so they do get pretty angry and that can be very overwhelming so i was really nervous about that i'm gonna take it out and i'll tell you and i'm gonna go like this all the bees are gonna fall off i might use my bee brush a little bit some of the bees are gonna go in the back I can't get every single bee out. Oh, yeah. And then you're gonna close up the bag. Putting the honey in the bag scared. As you can see, there's not a lot of bees. Because this hive had barely any bees and it was kind of an already dying hive, there wasn't a lot of activity going on and it was super easy to get the frames out, the bees brushed off, and the honey in the bag. As you can see, I'm scared, so I am standing very far away. So Anna decided to open up the bottom layer of the hive, which has far more bees in it. And overall, it's just an older hive. And this one was a little bit more aggressive only because there was more bees. She plopped it down and they just started going crazy. As you can see, I'm not scared at all. <laughs> I'm standing so, I'm standing as far back as I possibly can. There was a ton of bees on that frame still. I thought it was gonna be a much crazier process. I definitely hyped myself up, but we got the honey. You can hear them in here buzzing away. We've done it. All the day's work, chief. Wasn't as bad as I thought very much hype myself up. So a couple of weeks ago, my roommate and I were sitting on our porch swing and we broke it. So today we are fixing it. Here's us measuring the wood, chopping the wood, drilling, and doing all the manly things that you're supposed to do. Oh, nails. I didn't film this, but we put the frame into the freezer so the bees would die. I know that sounds morbid, but it's just what you have to do. The next day, we took them out of the freezer and they all looked really good. And it was time to extract the honey. Yes, thank you. Hi everyone, it's me. So here's what's happening. I live in a house with two other girls one of them is moving out, and so I'm moving into her room, and then someone in a month is coming to live in my old room. New room! Yay! This is the situation. It's so much bigger than the room that I have, and I'm very excited. Yee! Ah! Okay. Basically, room side, all office side. We're upgrading, bitches. This is me the next day. My roommate officially moved out and I really wanted to scrub the floors as much as I possibly could. This is a really grimy old house and right here it looks like I am stripping if I play it over a million times. So there you go, happy with that one. So I just swiffered the baseboards, the floor, the beautiful, beautiful hardwood floors that I love so much. And I forgot, oh, I need to put these lights up, those dumbass lights that have been literally the most biggest pain in that my whole fucking ass. So then I decided to put them all the way up and I did like it so i took them all the way down and then i eventually made it look like this which looked really really nice with the curtains <laughs> then i put my desk in this corner i thought it was gonna work out but then lo and behold yep Lots of bullshit happening. Was really, really frustrated this day. Oh, and not to mention, my bed frame absolutely ate the hardwood floors. I was so upset. I literally broke down into almost tears because I was so upset at what I had done. But the one thing I loved about this house was 
to the hardwood floors because I care about wood. I really do. I respect wood. <laughs> Alrighty, bitch. It is time to do some honey extracting. So we have this weird machine. Don't know what it's called, but basically you put the frames of honey into the machine and that's what it is, looks like. And I don't know. I don't know. I think it's like something called uh, maybe centrilical force. Ventil ventrilical. F I don't know. You just spin it and then the honey splatters to the side of the machine and then it like drips down the little spout and then you have honey. This is me trying to hold on to it, looking like a maniac and getting jerked around. But yeah, this is the honey. I won't lie, watching some of this footage back, it straight up looked like diarrhea. But you know what? That's okay because it's honey and not, not diarrhea. So um, yeah, and the next morning, this is us putting it into jars to deliver it to people. We'll not deliver it. Like we're just going to give it away. Oh, and by the way, I forgot to mention, um, I got a fucking Dyson. All I do is vacuum all day, every day. So this was sort of my day. Um, I sat in bed, drank some coffee, and that was basically it. I had all this vlogging planned, but honestly, I woke up and was feeling really depressed. And I think we should definitely normalize that, especially during this weird time of being quarantined. Not every day is gonna be a good day. Not every day is gonna be productive, and that is okay. Give yourself a break. I hope you guys are doing okay. I'll see you guys next time with a new video. Bye-bye.